it's for me, it's, it's that, that, that ever-evolving growth away from just our most basic instincts. You know, it's that, it's that recognition that, you know, when the mother, it's normal reaction to spilling the water on the table is, ah, oh, instead it's breathing and calmness. She's just transformed. She's just taken that one step. You know, in, in the, the reaction to, to pain stimuli is not, is not the same as it would have been if we didn't, if we weren't conscious about it. So for me, transformation is the evolution of our consciousness. I, I would say it is the transformation, uh, evolution of our consciousness. And, but how do we do that? I, th I would say my answer to, to um, that would be self-reflection. The self-reflection is something that we kind of assume as artists and writers, and, uh, but in terms of what's in the world, teaching the art of self-reflection is major. Because people don't say, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry I, I did that, or I'm, I'm sorry for my actions, please accept my, my apology. And there's not a lot of that kind of inner flexibility. Um, also, I come from the, the quote, the theologian Paul Ricoeur, uh, he, he talks about, he says, moral behavior cannot be you cannot change moral behavior. You cannot change behavior through moral imperative, but through a transformed imagination. And to me, that feels like that's what, that's what true art does, mm. is that it opens the imagination and, and allows in a new set of choices, a new mm -hmm. set of being in the world mm -hmm. in a whole different way. Mm -hmm. oh. Most conversations are technical. They have, have a lot to do with you know, executing action. Uh, solving problems, trying to fix things. Um, there's a second kind of conversation. Sometimes people get to it just more strategic. It's more transactional. It's kind of getting into teams and starting to working things through. But I think it's the third conversation that really interests me, which is I think the transformational conversation. And it's the one that's more generative. It's the one where we are really are not so focused about on trying to do different things or do things differently, but to actually see differently. Yeah, the only lasting transformation I've seen in my life or with people I've worked with is seeing with new eyes. You know, and helping people do that, whether it's in language or through their body or through their mood um, or through the imagination or through relationship or through art, that they see that there's something that they didn't see before. They experience something they didn't experience before. Literally, it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, to me, is what transforms or what transformation is.